minute since we blew up a car, and this video is gonna be a little bit not as cool. But ever since I've owned this beautiful machine they call a YXZ, I've wondered why people haven't put um, you know their own exhaust systems on there. So what you know on cars we put custom mufflers on there and everything that's aftermarket for the YXZ is a thousand bucks, you know, and they say the factory header isn't that great and that's fine, but I mean, it looks okay. And I know they can improve on stuff, but I put my wideband uh, air fuel sensor in and that's all installed. I have my own tuning software, so there's nothing to worry about there. I can keep an eye on that ratio. And I thought, I'm gonna make my own exhaust system. And I've always been partial to Flowmaster, so YXZ Flowmaster, pretty simple stuff. Super 10. Nice and raspy. Mandrel bent, 90. And V-band clamps. I've already welded this one on. So, let's see. These little fancy fellas. And how this is gonna work? Oh yeah, there's an adapt, little reducer here. So, how this is gonna work? I'm gonna take this header off here in a hot minute. And I am going to, oh, maybe it's not gonna work. I thought that was bigger. Well, the way this is planning to work is this is gonna go like this. Probably gonna cut this a little bit here. And uh, we're gonna put that on there. V-band clamp and a V-band clamp on the muffler under there. And then that way it all comes out because what really would make me mad, grind my gears is trying to get that factory freaking tub of love silencer out. I hate that thing, it makes me so mad. Plasma cut it out last time, so I was getting so frustrated because these and this, and it doesn't come out. Arr! So this will go in here like that. That's uh, two and a half inch. And I think it's gonna be super sick. I hung it on there a little bit and it sounds pretty good, even unsealed and uh, I've never seen one. Does it look kind of ugly? Kinda. Does it look kind of cool? Kinda. Does it look a little reckless ranch? Absolutely. So, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that reducer though. This might be a short video. All right, I'm back. So, in typical reckless ranch fashion, I'm just gonna make this work. Because this is kind of temporary anyway. Um, I can't stand that factory can. It's bugging the crap out of me. Wanted something different in the meantime, but my turbo pedestal is, or, a T3 uh, flange, weld on flange is gonna be here, I think next week anyway. And I wanna use this, this Flowmaster turbo with, or Flowmaster muffler with that turbo system that I'm building. I wanna do this one first, get the tune just right. Um, and that way if someone wants to screw around with it, I can, you know, give somebody, sell somebody a tune. Um, but I think it'll sound really cool having this uh, Super 10 with an actual turbo kit behind it as well. So I'm gonna make it work for now and it's probably gonna get changed next week anyway, but let's get started. So this is that reducer that we had looked at and this is how these things work. So inside of this are two of these, for some people don't know, they're super, super cool. So two of these rings and one goes on either side. Another one will go on that 90 degree like that and then they go in this and clamp clamp down for an awesome seal but what you do is you match this up here nice and perfect and then that inside if you do it just right won't have there won't be any uh restrictions or and it'll be nice and smooth um turned out really good on the muffler so we're going to try for this one too working with the lincoln weld pack from 100 years ago flux core why would you weld with anything else all right I'll put you on time lapse while I get this together. here it turned out okay you know you see me 
using this buffing wheel and that's because these uh, flux cord welders are pretty I mean they're pretty disgusting my welds aren't perfect but you know what they'll do for this I think about buying a TIG welder too I've never done it but I can pretty much figure just about anything out so if I play around with it a little bit I'll get it and I could definitely use it on this next like few upcoming projects because this this old school 110 uh, Lincoln is it does a great job for a lot of stuff but if you want something to look pretty <laughs> not necessarily the job or not necessarily the machine for the job if you guys recommend a decent TIG welder that won't you know cut into my kids college fund uh, <laughs> Put it in below, let me know what you guys think. Anyhow, onward, upward, other stuff. I gotta go grab the chop saw now. Start making some chops. Craftily um, put that reducer on there. <laughs> Temporary. So I just made it work. You can look from there. It's about as far as way as you can see it. <laughs> but uh, I wonder what would happen if I started this thing up. Just not even open headed. Open like that. I wonder if I'll suck a valve. I'm going to start it up. Hopefully, fire comes out. And hopefully, I don't blow my motor up. But it's going to be funny and noisy. Did it look cool? Who knows? All right, I'm gonna bolt this thing back up. I got a tire customer coming. All right, here we are. I got that uh, flange bolted on there and like that came out just about perfect. It's exactly where I want. So I want this to come be recessed back here, have enough room for that elbow to come around straight. So now we gotta see how much more I gotta cut that or not cut that. Go grab it real quick. It's back here. It might be perfect. My garage is a mess right now, too. Like an absolute mess, so don't judge too much. Ooh, see? A little bit wide still, so I might have to try to cut this one down. It is almost there, but it's not quite. Not quite there. We will see how this all pans out here. Yeah. Not like that it would almost work. Like 
this. That's pretty close. All right. Well, let's see what happens here. I think I might have to cut a little bit, a little bit more of that off. But I have a tire customer coming. I gotta put all the fun stuff away for a minute, and then do some work, and then play again. We're making progress. Austin from Alpine Adventure says Hello, that <laughs> he said I wasn't doing a good job, so he came to supervise me. So we're getting close. We got the V-band in there. We made our little 90 degree. We're gonna weld that one on, and then we can bolt it together and see what it sounds like. It's gonna sound like God's cock. It's gonna sound amazing. We're done with uh, a lot of it. I still gotta make some brackets so this thing doesn't go wrong. But look at that. A little baby flow master on a little baby motor. So now we got V bands everywhere. Looks like a plumber's nightmare. But we're gonna do first startup, see what it sounds like.
fresh new sign. Only thing I got left to do and I'm wussing out because I want to go sit on my recliner is I'm just going to make the factory little bolt holes down here. I'm going to make uh, two brackets that come up and support the muffler. Yeah, that's pretty raspy. So I'm thinking that I'm going to have to get like a resignated uh, muffler tip. I think it'd be kind of cool just to be goofy too and have a, a downturn. I don't, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. This is all temporary anyway. I don't want to get too ridiculous with it because... Next week the turbo stuff shows up and we're gonna start fabbing that. This is just so we can cruise around. I am gonna use this with the turbo. I think it's gonna sound really cool. But um, the rest of all the junk is all gonna change a bit. So, eh, don't get too crazy. But resonated tip, probably sound good. And if I'm gonna be riding out in the forest, I'm gonna have to go get myself a little insert for the old spark arrester. Make sure Johnny Law doesn't track me down or I don't start any more of those sweet wildfires like we've had all all summer long. At least we're getting into winter, but still. Sound pretty nasty. Let me know what you guys think. Flowmaster, YXZ, together. We'll see you guys next time.